When a child enters foster care, that child has likely experienced instability, causing a disruption in brain development. Foster care may further add to the damage, especially in children who are moved from family to family. Do I think, as scientists say, that multiple foster placements affect the brain chemistry? Uh, yeah, 100%, definitely. Um, I know when I think about like where I am in life compared to my friends around the same age who grew up with semi-normal families or more normal than multiple houses, um, there's definitely just some emotional differences and some just overall like mentality differences on, on life, uh, where we want to be, where we want to go. There is still debate among scientists on how much damage is coming from abuse and neglect or multiple placements. But researchers say forcing a child to endure those placements can disrupt the neural connections in their frontal lobes. Most affected, researchers say, are the brain's prefrontal cortex and the HPA axis. The prefrontal cortex manages a person's inhibitory controls. It manages self-control, basically the ability to make good choices and holding back from making bad ones. Difficulty with inhibitory controls can lead to school failure, discipline issues, and often causes a child to be moved to another family. Oh yeah, I mean, I've gone through multiple counselors. I've, given multiple, I've been given multiple diagnoses, you know, depression, anxiety. Um, all, I mean, all kinds of different things. I try, I, I have gotten to the point where I've accepted them, but I try not to let that necessarily define me. Like, sometimes it's hard. Um, I especially, I feel like my, for me, the anxiety is worse. You know, I go through those phases of depression, but I feel like the anxiety is worse. And I can easily let that, like, just take over and almost blame, or use it, like, to blame it on why I'm doing something. And, Researchers have also found differences in the way foster kids handle stress. An area known as the HPA axis is responsible for regulating the hormone cortisol to handle stressful situations. In a normal cycle, when you wake up, your body will have a high level of cortisol. The process starts off with the hypothalamus sending a signal to the pituitary gland. Then the pituitary gland sends its signal through the body to the adrenal glands, where it releases cortisol to the rest of the body to get ready for the day. By bedtime, cortisol levels will drop close to zero. Foster kids who have endured repeated trauma have their HPA axes thrown off kilter. Their bodies were in constant stress levels that pushed their HPA access too hard and too fast. The result is a downshift in cortisol. The cortisol levels become flat. When they wake up, it's low, and at bedtime, it's not low enough. In children, a dysregulated HPA system can lead to PTSD, anxiety, depression, and disruptive disorders. Foster care researchers believe there are ways to reverse the effects by providing foster kids with a safe, nurturing, permanent home. Find them a place to stay until then. I'd rather get attached for a small period of time and understand what love and happiness is for a small period of time than repeatedly get ripped from something that I feel safe in.